The Beach Aircraft Corporation was founded in 1932 by Walter H. and Olive Ann Beach. The first Beechcraft produced was the Model 17, the classic Beechcraft Stagger Wing, designed especially for the business traveler. The airplane proves to be faster than military pursuit airplanes of the day and wins numerous air races. In 1937, Beach introduces the Model 18 Twin Beach. The Beach 18 prototype first flew on January 15, 1937. This airplane is to business what the DC-3 is to the airplanes. Produced until 1970, the Model 18 spent 33 years in continuous production. Steve Wood, Twin Beach 18 owner. Well, it's been important. Aviation's been an important part of my life. I was sort of born into it. My, my dad was one of four uh, sons in his family. They were all pilots. Their dad, my paternal grandfather, learned to fly in the Signal Corps in 1918. So I can't remember not being, not being around people that were talking about aviation and airplanes. This particular airplane was built after the war. It was built in August of 48. It was always a corporate airplane. Never was a freighter, never was a dope smuggler, never was a car parts hauler. A lot of these Beach 18s, you know, during the, oh, the 60s and 70s, they used them as freighters. They were cheap to own, and when gas was cheap, fairly inexpensive to operate. At the time I learned to fly in, in the early 70s, if you were headed toward a commercial pilot's career, one of the first gigs a lot of those guys got was flying freight in Beach 18s. So this airplane uh, started off life uh, up in Oregon, and it stayed pretty much along the West Coast. It was owned by three or four different corporations as a, you know, just a corporate traveling airplane, I think, predominantly. That's what they were mostly known for and used for in their civilian life. Before there were biz jets, you know, before the Learjet or the Cessna Citation or anything, the Beach 18 was the airplane that made corporate air travel kind of a reality. They were selling a bit of a luxury experience, I think. That was, that was always what Beach was known for. Cessna was kind of crank them out for the common man, and Beach was like, you know, now we're going to charge a little bit more, but we're going to, you know, we're going to throw in a few extras and concentrate on creature comfort a fair amount. There were, there were a couple competitors, the Lockheed Electra, like Amelia got lost in. But the Lockheed was never made in very many numbers. The Beach, they made 11, 12,000 of the things, mostly for the war effort. You can find photos on the internet of the Beach factory during World War II, where literally these things are just lined up in unbelievable numbers and people working around the clock building them, you know, for the war effort. So this airplane has, um, oh, I think about 5,500 flight hours on it, which is minimal in the Beach 18 world. And I was looking for a low time airframe. I mean, it looks like an aluminum airplane and, it, and the outboard wings are all aluminum, but the guts of the airplane, the landing gear, the main carry through spar, is this big, massive steel tube weldment that's heat treated. No one's making any more of those. So if you want to, if you have a good spar truss, you have a good Beach 18, or at least the project. If the spar truss is gone, well then forget it. It is a great traveling airplane. This one's set up with four and a fifth jump seat in the back. So if you have say four adults in there and you're going somewhere, you know, everyone has room to stretch way out. The cabin's relatively quiet. It's just kind of a boom, 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 boom. You know, sounds like, sounds like Harley's going down the road. You know, not at idle, but not wide open because the engines are only turning about 1800 RPM. So it just has a kind of low rumble. And it's a very comfortable airplane to travel in. People look at it and they think, well, this thing cruises about 120 miles an hour. No, it cruises about 200 miles an hour. And it's a very clean airplane when the landing gear is all retracted. It's the only Beach 18 that I've flown, but I know from talking to other owners and, and from some people who have flown with me, this is a fast one because they all came with icing equipment, you know, they had boots on the leading edges of the, of the wing, of the horizontal tail, 
They had alcohol slingers on the propellers, windshield wipers, a lot of junk that causes drag. This airplane's had all that stuff removed. It doesn't even have a rain gutter over the door anymore. And they used to have a big old ADF antenna that looked like a football. You know, they all had it right in the middle of the back. All that stuff's gone off this airplane. And because it's never been wrecked or, or tweaked, it flies with all its trim tabs right in the middle. So, you know, when you get the gear sucked up, it gets right down the road. You know, when you own an airplane like a Beach 18, yeah, you own it, it's an asset, but you're sort of, at this point in time, you're sort of a caretaker of a piece of history, and you kind of have to embrace that as part of, as part of the fact that you own the airplane. The Beach Model 18, or Twin Beach, is both beautiful to look at on the ground and in the air. With proper care and handling, the Model 18, or Twin Beach, will continue to fly and bring enjoyment to everyone that appreciates a truly unique one-of-a-kind.